What are you doing? Nice stash. You're looking at all my gifts down there. Hello everybody and welcome Zoom back in. to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi. You just zoom in like that. Yes. So a couple of you wanted to see what I got for Christmas this year, which is actually quite unexpected. Like I wasn't expecting anybody to be interested in what I got for Christmas. Do you really want to see? Like, oh my God. it makes me feel so special. So, oh my God. For this video, I did just want to give my gratitude by showing off all my little goodies that I got from my loved ones. But it's also very important to remember that materialism or gifts in general are not the biggest part of Christmas. It's mostly spending it with your loved ones, whether that's friends, family, your pets, by yourself, and just indulging in that. Honestly, the best gift of them all was coming home and seeing my cockatiels because we spent Christmas with Tyler's family. They are like four hours away. So we did a lot of traveling on Christmas. Coming home and seeing your chonky little face. Um. Best gift, 100%. So without further ado, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you can let me know you enjoy my videos. And without further ado, let's get into the Christmas haul. I feel like you're not Australian unless you get one of these bad boys. And like, I'm dairy free, but I do not care. I'm gonna eat this whole entire box. Half of the chocolates are already gone because I just cannot help myself. I'm so in love with this. And I didn't even know that you could get a party edition, which is like Freddo's and Chomps, Caramel and Koalas. Like this is so much better than the original favorites box. I'm just saying. I think I got this from Tyler's Nan. So I'm incredibly grateful for this. Thank you, Tyler's Nan. I also got this from Tyler's Nan. It is a small little candle. I won't open it because it is quite overpowering. And I've got the birds in here, obviously, but it is vanilla pavlova candle. And I can already smell it without opening the candle it smells delicious why make it a candle if it's so mouth watering it smells that good like my mouth is watering right now like i never open my candles and i never burn them obviously but i love candles so it's always the thought that counts and i very much appreciate this thought a lot if that was not a candle that would be in my stomach instantly i got this hand cream from tyler's auntie which is a home and body store that i love so dearly and it's japanese honeysuckle hand treatment which is super nice it smells smells absolutely amazing. It's very refreshing, which is what I like. What are you chewing on? Give me that. Give me that. What is that? Give me that. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. They are an Australian. Are you right? You are very grumpy. Why are you grumpy? That is not very Christmas spirited of you. I'm Grinch. It says, this cream is rich in antioxidants and skin friendly vitamins to help lock moisture into the skin while also reducing scarring and redness from sun damage. That sounds absolutely amazing. I love this so much. Thank you so much to Tyler's auntie for getting that for me. I also got from Tyler's auntie and her kids a big old Heart & Co candle as well. Once again, I love candles, but obviously I cannot open them. I can already smell it from here. It smells amazing. I also love that logo. It's a little deer. I love that. So it's vanilla and cedar wood. I think that's how you say it. Cedar wood. I don't really know how else you would pronounce it. But it's a triple scented cocoa soy candle. And I'm absolutely obsessed. Love the packaging. Like the packaging alone. Absolutely sold. Are you kidding me? It's so pretty. I wouldn't even want to open this because it's so gorgeous. Now I ended up getting this little envelope from my mama and I'm so incredibly happy about this Christmas present because it's so thoughtful and it's something that me and Tyler can do, which is amazing. I won't open it up because it's for a lot of local businesses, but they are vouchers for a lot of different things. So for example, there's a voucher where we can go on a night out and get dinner out together. There's a voucher where we can go and get some Subway and have some lunch in the park. There's a voucher for a local like clothing boutique place which i'm super excited for and there's also a voucher for the local fruit and veggie shop which is going to help my birds and i i have recently been making them chop and they are taking up so much of my veggies so much of my money and i'm so incredibly grateful for this little envelope of vouchers so thank you so much mom you know that i love this so much speaking of vouchers i also got a few little gift cards which is super fun i got a gift card from the iconic it was a secret kris kringle so i'm not sure who actually gave this to me but i feel like it was tyler's auntie I'm not sure. The Iconic is one of the biggest retailers in Australia that sells a bunch of really cool things from like fashion to decor to beauty. So I feel like if there was any store in Australia that I would love, it would be the Iconic because it's just got so many things that I would love and that I can choose from. I've just really never gone out of my way to shop at the Iconic because I've always thought it was like really expensive. But having a little gift card gives me the opportunity to dip my little foot 
into the iconic so super excited about that one i got a body shop gift voucher which i absolutely love if you don't follow me on instagram for the whole of december i was opening a body shop advent calendar every single day i love the body shop i use their body yogurts like there's no tomorrow so this was perfect as well very thoughtful a lot of thought went into that so i love that and then last but not least i got a gift card for pet stock which is a major pet store retailer here in Australia. So I can continue revamping my birdcage. If you guys don't know, I'm in the process of revamping my birdcage. I'm super excited. Oh, I also forgot to mention that this one was from Tyler's sister and this one was from my dad's girlfriend. So very grateful. Thank you guys. Um, I also got a small little cockatoo from Tyler's sister as well. It can like clip onto things, but I don't know where to put him. I could probably put him in my little tree actually. Oh. Oh no! Wait, I'm gonna make this work. He's gonna sit in my tree. Oh my god, that is the best thing ever. I've actually gobsmacked. Like, that is the best thing I've ever witnessed. While we're on the topic of Tyler's sister, she also got me some French vanilla coffee scrub, an exfoliator for the shower, and I can already smell it from the packaging. I have three favorite scents in this world it's vanilla, coconut, and coffee. And this being vanilla and coffee. Bless you. Absolutely obsessed. I also got a small little skin therapy set from Tyler's sister. It comes with a gua sha and a face roller, which is always so fun. I love doing skincare, especially in the bath. As soon as I get in the bath, I'm like, it's in. And it also has the instructions on the back so you know which way to massage your face because that's very important. I also just want to mention that my dad gave me some money because he didn't really know what to get me this year, but I've already spent it these are from me me to myself because i love gift giving so obviously i had to gift something to myself obviously <laughs> i went ahead and got myself this gold plated necklace from cotton on i'm not actually sure what is the little design there but it's like a moon with some stars and it's super cute and i just wanted to add to my little necklace layering collection that i've got going on here so i wanted to like have this one as the bottom one. I thought it would be super nice. I went out of my way and got myself some sandals from Cotton On as well. These are the Rex Double Buckle Slide. Could I walk past these? Absolutely not. I had to get these for myself. You know, it's summer here in Australia. Right now, I'm sweating my titties off. So some sandals will be perfect for this time of year. So those are some gifts from me to me because you gotta treat yourself. It's very important. Last but not least is the presents that Tyler got me. If you watched my gift wrapping video, you might have noticed that the last present that I wrapped in that video was actually Tyler's. So you know what I got him. Now it's time to find out what he got for me. And I'm so happy this year. Like he was so thoughtful. Oh my God, now the birds are coming over. Are you girls ready to see Tyler's present? See Tyler was so thoughtful this year and I'm so proud of him. Like he did so well. <laughs> I'm so happy. Let's start off small. He got me this Peggy Sue Co lip duo kit. Now I have been raving about this for probably the last two years, I think. I first saw it in one of those little fancy decor stores that are like overly expensive and fucking aesthetic. And I saw this and I was like, I'm absolutely throffing at the mouth. Like I need this in my life. That was two years ago and I kind of forgot about it. When I unwrapped this on Christmas day, I was screaming internally. If we open it up, one's an exfoliator and one is a conditioner for these plumpers. I'm so happy. It's the smallest gift that I received this year, but it is probably one of the best. Like I'm so happy. He also went ahead and got me an alive body wash kit for like the longest time. I have been gifting these to people because they're just so groovy, so aesthetic. Look at the top here. It's a flower. Like that's so fucking cool. Basically, this little set comes with a sponge and a hand and body wash, which I'll open up now. I love everything this brand has to say, has to do. I'm just obsessed. So first off, we have the body and hand wash. Look, look at that. It also comes with a counterpart that you can like click together. So it'll be two of these bottles click together and it looks so cute. I've only got the one and I'm so freaking happy with it. It is sea cotton and coconut. We all know I love coconuts. These guys are sustainable. These guys are Australian made. I love this brand so much. And then I also got this little sponge, 100% plant-based. It softens when soaked in water. So really good for exfoliation, really good for washing. I am obsessed. Like just look at the packaging, lucky last. And this one I already knew about because I actually asked for it. It was the one thing that I absolutely wanted this year. And it is the one and only 
blowout brush from Bondi Boost. This thing is amazing. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that I've already spoken about this, but this is basically a blow dryer, but in a brush. So you have wet hair, you brush your hair and it dries. I also emailed Bondi Boost themselves and I asked them about PTFE and PFOA in this and they said, nope, it is free of all of that stuff, which means this bad boy is bird safe. I haven't been able to find a good hair dryer that is safe for the birds. So I've been in a pickle for the longest time, just having to like air dry my hair outside every time I wash my hair and it's so frustrating. Let me go ahead and open up the box for you, but I actually used it the other night. So I washed my hair and then I sat down for about half an hour and blow dried my hair with this brush. So there's a little bit of hair in the brush, obviously, because I've used it, but this is the result. I could sit down a little bit longer and actually straighten my hair, but I'm so happy with how it's turned out. Like normally I would need to straighten my hair to feel confident and happy with my hair, but no, this is it. Like I'm feeling happy and confident right now. It's like a fresh blow dry. Like I am obsessed, like this is innovative. So this is the brush itself. It's super easy to use. Basically you just grab a section of your hair and just run it through and it'll blow air obviously it's not turned on if you couldn't tell it just gives you that blow dry effect without going to the salon or you know damaging your hair completely because this is not going to damage your hair like a hair dryer is going to it's very gentle it's very lightweight on your hair that is probably one of the best gifts i've ever received it's going to change my life like getting out of the shower and being able to dry my hair instantly <laughs> It's going to be a game changer for me. Like, oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That is what I got for Christmas this year. I'm so incredibly grateful for every single thing. And it just goes to show that you don't need the most materialistic things to have a great Christmas day. It's usually the food and the people and the messages that you get that really make the day special. So remember to always reach out to your loved ones on Christmas day and remind your loved ones how special they are to you because it can seriously make or break someone's day. Like it's just so important, even on a random day, it doesn't have to be Christmas, but just go out of your way to remind somebody that they mean so much to you. Like it makes anybody's day. I woke up Christmas day to messages from you guys and I was just so incredibly happy. I couldn't move from the bed. I was like too intrigued in the messages. I kept reading them over and over again. I couldn't get up to start getting ready for the day i was just like oh my god i want to read them all but i'm so so grateful thank you guys so much anyway guys without further ado i am gonna love you and leave you i will see you in my video on sunday so ciao for now